Hello Aries, welcome to your daily love read. I hope you guys are doing well. So this could be a love read, it could be a bonus for the next 48. I just felt called to do another reading. Um, so let's go ahead and see what is coming in for Aries and what do they need to see. Let's do love. What are the energies coming in surrounding the zodiac sign of Aries? And what do they need to see? The Knight of Pentacles. Some of you could be waiting for an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's moving very slow. There's an offer coming in of some kind though. Okay, so this is all about the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving energy, but it's an offer. It's real. It's something that is tangible, connected to the elements of earth, which is typically career and finance. Okay, so we have a page of cups. We have good news coming in. But in the cross to this Knight of Pentacles, because it's coming in so slow, we had temperance, which is patience. Tempering your feelings of impatience. Wow. Okay, so we have this page of cups. We have some kind of good news coming in. Recent past energy is an eight of cups and a three of swords. Something here, you felt like leaving, you felt like walking away. It was hurtful. Okay, what's coming in here? High Priestess. This is the energy of intuition, following your intuition. Secrets, the energy of Pisces, which is the subconscious mind, following your intuition. It's actually too spiritual, very spiritual. It's the energy of um, psychic. It's also the energy of secrets. So you may have a secret love come in towards you. Page of Cups, Flirty, High Priestess. You're not responding, you're not reacting. What's in the future energy here for Aries? A ton of wands. Heavy responsibilities. Lots, you're carrying a lot of weight. What is Aries energy? The fool. So you're wanting to break free. You're wanting complete and total liberation here. This is the energy of no burdens. You're wanting to drop these burdens. You're wanting to go on a new journey. It's funny, I can't get it in. There we go. Okay. So what is in the environment for Aries? What is in the environment? <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork, collaboration. People are supporting each other. Wow. Okay, so your hope or fear is an Eight of Swords. You're afraid of, or you're, you could be worrying about something. Maybe you're worrying about money. Maybe you're worrying about a love connection. Crossing energy was temperance, telling you to be patient, balance, temper your impatience. Final outcome is an ace of cups. There's a new potential here, something that could offer you overwhelming emotional satisfaction. It's a new cup. It's a new offer. Okay. Pool and the ace of cups. Three of pentacles. Okay. Wow. Some of you have trust issues with this person. Seven of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. That's the energy of like somebody's trying to get away with something, but they just flipped. I wasn't even asking why. Some of you just don't trust the person. 
What is the Ten of Wands? Empress energy, okay. Carrying a lot of burdens, but we have here the energy of Venus, love and beauty. And wow, so with that energy, so there is some kind of love. I mean, I swear, I don't know what it is. Chariot, somebody with a lot of emotions coming straight towards you. King of Cups, somebody offering you love. It's not, it's more than the page. This is real. This is real emotions. And the Empress, they put you on a pedestal. They see you as love and beauty and everything that's very fertile and abundant. And everything that represents love. So we have the Chariot. We have Cancer Energy. We have Water Energy. Somebody coming forward with their feelings. So they're acting on their feelings and the empress but for some reason this is a burden because i feel like it's a secret with the high priestess there's an ace of cups the fool what is the high priestess or it's because you've been hurt in the past what is high priestess what is High Priestess? The Nine of Wands, persevering the energy of refusing to get up, give up fire energy. Wounded Warrior. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is going to speak their truth to you about their feelings, about how they feel. So the cards are showing basically an opportunity for you to take a leap of faith. Um, what is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? A Ten of Pentacles, a commitment, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could also be money. Like I said before, this could be a bonus read for Aries. Could be a Virgo, Hermit's on the bottom. This is a commitment. Somebody wants a commitment. Or it's an offer from an earth sign. Or it's a job offer, because there is a leap of faith here, Three of Pentacles, teamwork. What is the Ten of Pentacles? Wow. Wow. There's a fast change. Eight of Wands and Death, there's a fast, fast change where this offer comes in for you. Okay, Aries, what's on the bottom? Six of Wands, the victory. So something is leading you towards a victory. There's something here that is happening fast. Ooh, there's a Two of Cups behind that. There's love between two people, mutual feelings. Knight of Cups behind that, so there's an offer. Some of you are not going to jump in right away. Queen of Swords and Five of Cups. You're focusing on, uh, could be maybe past hurts. You could be thinking about the past. Okay, what is this Three of Pentacles in the environment? What is the Three of Pentacles in the environment? the four of pentacles. Either you're not responding or there's someone here who could be kind of selfish. They're holding back their energy in your environment. The fool, you're wanting to break free. You're wanting to be liberated. What is the fool? What is the fool? What is the fool? Three of Cups and Queen of Cups. You're wanting to offer your love to someone, maybe even reunite or have a have a reunion with someone. You're wanting to show love to someone, or this could be the person coming in towards you, but the fool is you want to be liberated. You want to take that leap of faith. You want to show love to someone. Somebody's coming here. 
Ten of Cups is on the bottom now. The Happily Ever After and the Sun. So there's something here that could be fast change and it would make you very happy. It could lead to great happiness, joy. The person comes in, they tell you how they feel. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave it here for you. Hopefully this helps you in some way. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if any of you are interested, this is an example of my jewelry. These are the mini Jasper bracelets. Please see my website, starseed1111.com, and take care.